Hi YouTube, welcome to my channel, Shell's Hearts Art, and today I'll be doing the pajama tag video, and I'll also be doing a mini pattern haul from Simplicity Patterns and McCall Pattern. So let's get into it. By the way, I will be looking down at my phone to to do the pajama tag. Um, so y'all go ahead and get started. I was tagged by Crystal Souls and stuff to do the pajama tag, and I'll link her video down below. So let's start. The first question is: Have you ever made a muslin that ended up as PJs? Tell us about them. Um, I don't remember ever making a muslin that turned out as PJs. I do, um, I know when I first got into sewing, I did make a few things that ended up being more wearable as pajamas as opposed to wearing them out the house. I don't have any pictures of those. I do remember once I, I made a pair of high-waisted shorts out of this turquoise bluish fabric and I put some brown buttons on them. Um, I didn't get much wear out of them and I ended up giving them to my cousin because I felt like she would wear them way more and she did. I think she wear them. She wears them mostly as loungewear. So yeah, they did get some use out of them but they weren't meant to be a muslin. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's all I have to say about that. Question two, what were your first PJ makes or tell us about your favorite PJs? Okay, the first pajamas I ever made were actually for my friend, like the first legit pajamas. I um, actually used a sweater that I had. I drafted the pattern from a sweater that I owned and I also drafted the shorts um, from a pair of shorts that I have. Um, I don't actually have a picture of the pajamas and my friend obviously has the pajamas so I don't have any pictures to show you. But it was a pink fleece material and I added a lace detail to it so I thought it was really cute, really fun. Um, I really like how they turned out. And let's see. The next question is, tell us about your favorite PJs. My favorite pajamas are, I actually mentioned them in my April Mix video, I think, um, which is a few videos. If you look on my um, page, you will see an April Mix, uh, an April Sewing Mix video, and I do talk about those, my pajamas there. They were actually part of the Sew My Stash Challenge, and I just made a simple top and shorts pajama, like a, like a tank top and some shorts. Very easy breezy. I definitely get a lot of wear out of those, and I will post a picture at the end of those pajamas if you don't know what I'm talking about. But I get a lot of wear out of, I get a lot of wear out of those pajamas, and those are my favorite pajamas. Period. <laughs> um, next question. How many me made PJs do you have? I don't really have a lot of pajamas. That's the thing. I haven't, I have a lot of pajamas, but I don't have a lot of me made pajamas. And that's something I want to incorporate more into my sewing makes. Um, when I first got into sewing, I just, I was not drawn to sewing pajamas. It just did not interest me at all. But I think the more I sew and the more, like, since I'm using patterns now, when I first started sewing, I was more into learning how to self-draft. And that is something I want to get back into. But right now, I want to work with patterns. So yeah, I have quite a few um, patterns that I have that are pajama patterns and that are very cute. And a few of them um, I do want to complete before this year ends. So let's hope I do. And I also have some really cute panda fabric that I want to make pajamas with. So yeah, that's something I want to incorporate. But I think if you watch my May makes and my April makes, those are really all the pajamas I made for myself. So they're very recent. I have one of them here. They are the Louisa trousers and those ended up being really great um, secret pajama pants. And I do get some wear out of these around the house because it's just this really lightweight cotton feels really good on the skin. So yeah, um, I think that is the last question on the pajama tag and it is so I'm supposed to tag somebody so I think I'll be tagging Megan Sullivan from Married with Dogs that's her Instagram name um and I'll tag anybody who's watching this video if you want to go ahead and partake in the um pajama tag feel free there's no pressure from what I've read from the idea I think it's a very relaxed tag do it whenever you have time don't feel pressured if you're too busy totally understand um that's fine and you can respond through any kind of social media just use the proper tags and I'll list those tags below in the description box so yeah that's all for that I'll be getting into the next part of this video which is my simplicity and McCall pattern haul so let's get into it let's see so from simplicity and McCall's pattern now I know McCall's pattern they just released their early autumn pattern so I did just order two of them from online because they had a sale and I'll show them right here the first one I got was McCall 7805 really cute the reason I got this pattern was because of this dress right there it is just so cute I was drawn to the side panel details how it's all flared I just think that is really cute so I had to get this pattern and then I also got McCall's M7812 as you can see it has a ruched detail in the middle um, of the bodice there's a ruche detail. And this one, you see, is so cute with the ruffles at the bottom. I think that's really cute. And I also think A is great, too. So, yeah. And then they have a dress version. So, those are the only two patterns I got from the 
early autumn launch um let's see what they put out for late autumn if they do a late autumn launch i'm not sure but they do have quite a few cute patterns but i just picked these two next are patterns from simplicity so let's get into that um i did get this simplicity pattern 8565 this little cute um, pattern for a little girl something i can make for a relative so i think it's really cute so cute so simple i think all of these are adorable little girl patterns like the clothes in general are just always going to be so cute so yeah i had to get one of those next is simplicity 8688 really cute dress here i like the asymmetrical detail but i think i'm more drawn to vc which is as you can see um a symmetrical hemline but yeah all very cute and this is used with a knit fabric i think yes it's size for stretch knits great next i showed this on my instagram stories if you saw my instagram stories you already saw this pattern i love this pattern so much like it is so cute i think this is great for like running errands or when you just want to leave the house but you don't want to be too dressy but you still want to be cute you know what i'm saying <laughs> but yeah it's so cute i love the grommet and the lace detailing right there the lacing and i think for me i'm drawn to view b because view b um the lace detail the waistband is actually incorporated into the garment as you can see i'm trying to put it up close so you can all see but yeah and i think the other views you would actually make a belt to serve as, to um put the lacing in so i would rather have mine in um inserted into the seam of the top so yeah it's very cute next is the last pattern i got it's new looks pattern which is right here um it says do938 i'm not sure if that's the actual number for it because i know sometimes they have the display number and then they have the actual number so i'm not quite sure but i got this because i just thought it was they were great basics especially this one right there and these pants right there i don't think i would wear them together but i think separately they're great basics so yeah and there was actually another pattern i wanted i think it's simplicity 86 i'm not sure i actually have it saved on my phone so let's see what it is so i don't lie to you all <laughs> And it is Simplicity 8687. I really want that pattern, but they didn't have it. You know, everybody went for that one because that's just a really cute pattern. Anyways, that was it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed the pajama haul. Thank you, Crystal Sellers and stuff for tagging me. I really appreciate it. Um, and thank you all for watching. If you like what you saw, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on my social media, Instagram, Shells Hearts Art. Anyways, thank you for watching again. Bye-bye. Have a nice day.